Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Messiah the Christ. Messiah, the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth, if you want to know why, I call God the higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth and also to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great king is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for liking the videos, for sharing the videos, for watching the videos, for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really appreciate it. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, you're absolutely, absolutely welcome over this channel. I pray that this will be the home for you where the prophetic is concerned. Um, a wonderful, wonderful welcome to you all. Hallelujah. And for those beautiful beloved who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform, I eternally bless you. Um, yes, and your beautiful household of faith, your family. Thank you so, so very much from the depths of my heart. All right, brothers and sisters. So, listen to me, brothers and sisters. People may not understand what's going on with this channel in Jamaica, but I have a mandate for the country, I have a mandate to the country. So, obviously, when the most I says go and warn, I have to. I said to Ahaya, I feel like this is... You know, I said, Lord, I feel like this is um, Noah because like Noah warned for nearly a hundred years. I've been, you know, the, the, it's not that I've, I haven't been warning concerning Jamaica because I have videos since 2017. So that's a long time I've been talking about the tsunami and earthquake that is to come. But what's happened is that the, the because the prophecy is so close and it is so near to happen, more information and more revelation is coming through. That is all the most I work. So it's not just this year, 2024, I'm talking about Jamaica. I've been talking about the country since 2017. It is a long time. It's all in my playlist. Please, please, please check out my playlist when you have time. Different headings are there. Please check them out. Especially the old videos. The old ancient videos from 2015 2016 2017 check them out i'm telling you i cannot lie i never lies he is the spirit of truth but i want to i quickly want to jump on here because today somebody sent me um somebody sent me a video for lady never seen her before i don't know her um her accent obviously she's a jamaican because her accent is a jamaican so just like yesterday, I uploaded a video concerning an elderly, didn't I? An elderly gentleman and I had the same vision concerning the nine pointer that is coming. But the reason why I'm sharing this vision from this young lady, all right, is that, listen, I uh, cannot lie, where there's, what is it, what the Bible says, more than two witnesses in the mouth of the people, let it be declared, thus say the most that, right? So the one that's it's only three minutes long, so I want you to watch it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to let you watch it and come back. But the only difference is that she didn't talk about the tsunami because that, that wasn't given to her. Hallelujah. That wasn't given to her. But certainly, certainly where the earthquake is concerned was, was given to her. And I want you to listen very keenly. Three minutes. Three minutes. Listen to what she says, and I'm going to come back. Just a minute. All right. Blessings, Jamaica. Blessings. Once again, I was trying to make this video, and it was giving so much problem to the Lord. But what the enemy has meant for evil, God has turned it around. Well, I didn't pray this morning. The Lord has given me this word to give to his people. He said, go and tell my people to repent. He said, tell them that a 9.5 earthquake is coming. And go and share this upon every social media platform. 
He said, tell them that I, the Lord thy God, is going to shake this nation. He said to me to let this message reach out to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Mr. Andrew Oness. Sir, the Lord said to tell you to put the country upon some fast. Call for fasting and prayer for the country because there's going to be disaster upon the island of Jamaica. He said to tell you, call in prayer warriors, call in pastors, leaders to pray. Call forth for a few days of fasting for the country. There's going to be a mighty shake of the hands of God. He said there's a 9.5 earthquake is coming that is going to rock the nation. And he said to tell his people to repent. Wherever he see his blood, he will pass over. Get your olive oil, anoint your doorposts, anoint where to anoint, anoint your family, anoint your children, your wife, your spouse, whosoever you've been around, anoint them. There's going to be an earthquake, thus said the Lord thy God, and it's only the fittest of the fittest shall survive, thus says the Lord thy God. He said there are people out there mocking his leaders whenever he send out warning, but look and see what is about to come. I am praying this morning. I'm in prayer, crying out, asking for mercy. And I hear God say, too much idol worshippers, too much people worshipping idols into this country. And he has to put a stop to this. There's going to be a shake. People of God, search yourself, leaders. Do a self-examination on yourself. Let us do a self-examination the body of Christ, you need a self-examination, see where we're going wrong, see what is not right in the presence of God. There's going to be a mighty shake of the Almighty God. Thus says the Lord thy God, Jamaica, repent. Jamaica, put your house in order. There's going to be a shake of the Lord thy God. Put your house in order. Jamaica. All right, brothers and sisters. Time is it okay? All right, brothers and sisters. Now that you have watched the video, Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. He is the spirit of truth. And when I come in here, brothers and sisters, and I begin to prophesy, and I say, "Thus saith the Most High, though the vision tarry, it shall surely what? That's right. It shall surely come to pass, right?" So as you can see from this sister. I don't know her name, I'm sorry, because the video just came, so I don't know who she is, right? Um, as you can see from the sister, she told um she told you that there's gonna be a 9.5. Now she was very specific. I said it's gonna be over nine point something. The, uh, the elderly gentleman say over nine point, and now the sister is saying nine point. People have to wake up. Something detrimental and horrible is coming to Jamaica. Yes, the world talks about Jamaica. Usain Bolt, fastest man in the world. Bob Marley, reggae icon. Food, lovely beaches, but the spiritual wickedness in the country. Is, it's, it's, it, the stench has reached glory. And that's the reason why we have to warn my desire. My sister, sister Karen, every day you get up on your video about Jamaica. Every time you're talking about Jamaica, Jamaica. But you can say the same thing to Noah. Why don't you say the same thing? Why don't you read the Bible where Noah been warning day and night and just say to the Most High, Father, every day Noah got to... Because it's the same thing. You're saying the same thing to me because the Most High sent me. Because I see it in the comment section. People are getting offended. Ah, oh, you're talking about Jamaica. Did... But it's a warning. This is a <laughs> this is a warning goes. You don't just warn one and two videos and that's it. No, that's not warning. Cause th those videos can get lost in translation. So you have to keep warning and hope that other people will warn. And that's why I say to brothers and sisters, I don't normally tell people to share my visions and dreams. But with the Jamaican stuff, I'm saying to people, please. If you have social media and you don't use it, say you have a platform, but just share the videos. Just, if you don't want to share no other prophecies from this channel, but the Jamaican one, then absolutely just use your platform. Just use your platform and share the videos, brothers and sisters, because the more people 
know that this earthquake and tsunami is coming the best prepared spiritually because then they begin to repent though they cannot stop what is coming that is the sad thing about it it's, it, it, it because the spiritual all right some of the people not all and i want you to listen to me some of the people in jamaica are, are spoiled so what do i mean spoiled it's a biblical term so when ahaya was dealing with israel when Ahia was dealing with Israel and when Israel went too far in sin, like they dealt absolutely treacherously against the most High, like they became reprobate, some of them. The Bible said that they're spoiled. They're not good. They've gone off. So they've got to be destroyed. It is that simple. And unfortunately, unfortunately, some of the people in Jamaica are spoiled. They're on that level. Now, don't come to me and say, oh, you know, what, what about other countries? I'm only dealing with Jamaica for now. I only can talk about what the most I tells me to talk about. And in case you want to know, I've talked about a lot of countries. Australia, Brazil, France, Babylon, UK, Babylon, US, Spain, Germany. You, you just need to, if you have time, rather than come in the comment section and attack, just go to the playlist. Keep on saying, brothers and sisters, go to the playlist. I have videos, sorry, from 2015. I've been doing, I've been warning. It's a long time. It is, it is a long time. I've been warning. So, this young lady is telling us that there is going to be, well, she was specific, 9.5. So this is a third, this is three of us now. The elderly man in Jamaica, myself, and this young woman who is not, well, she did her, when did she get the, the vision or the revelation? She was in prayer, she said, didn't it? So she had her thing in November, 2023. And then myself and the elderly gentleman, had our vision in August, but mind you, remember, I've been saying, I've been warning about Jamaica since 2017, so it's nothing new, right? It's just that I, I wasn't specific in terms of the earthquake and stuff like that. But now the most uh, is allowing people to be specific. So Ahaya cannot lie, Ahaya never lies. There will be, there will be a nine pointer. That's a big earthquake. That's not nothing to smile about. And when I talk about the nine pointer, you know, people said, you know, Jamaica can't handle that. But you've got to understand that Ahaya is in control. So he's not going to wipe out Jamaica. He's not going to do it. So don't be thinking, no, oh, all of Jamaica is going to be wiped out. No, no, no. Yes, a lot of people are going to pass. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie because a lot of them are spoiled. They, they, it's, it's like they've gone so far that, you know, yeah, Ahaya calls them spoil. That's the word, right? Um, so some people will pass. Some people will get unalive through. The Lord showed me about 3,000 being unalive through the nine point something earthquake alone. And then the rest, when the sea comes in, that is the catastrophic bit. It's not even the sea coming in, brothers and sisters, you know. Let me tell you what it is, what the Lord showed me, because... Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. He's a spirit of truth, right? But I tell you what the 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 the, the, the severe danger is. It's not it's, yeah. See, coming in is horrible. We know that, but it's when it's going out. It's it's, it's literally when it comes in land, because I think when it, it's going to be so quick and so fast. So when it comes in land, I think you know people are going to think, all right. No, we can't probably maneuver, but it's when it's going back out. That is the, uh, that is the deadly bit of a tsunami. Because what the Lord showed me in the vision is were like, I didn't see the hands or anything like that. But I felt like someone was pulling everything back into the sea. Obviously, we know that current is going to do that because waves come with current and stuff like that but this was spiritual this was more than this was more than current this was more than current um what i want to say and i and i haven't explained because this has been on my spirit to just quickly say this concerning the actual water from the sea after it climbed the blue mountain and go how many feet high um 
if you can imagine if you can imagine throwing water if you throw water on the ground what happened it splashes isn't it especially if it so if you think about it like this if you've got a cup of water and you are outside where dirt is and you throw water on that dirt what's going to happen you, you can see the water digging the dirt isn't it you can see the water literally making a hole in the dirt and the water just splash all right so when the tsunami comes in what is going to happen when i told you that the crescent because the, the, the tsunami is going to crescent jamaica so from Negril all the way back down to I think Port Antonio or some somewhere like that. All right, the, the tsunami is gonna crescent that. So, like I say in previous videos, most of Negril, most of Montego Bay, most of Ochi, most of Trelawney, all that side, most of it, it it it's gonna break off underneath the sea because when the water comes in. I want you to listen to this very, very carefully. When the water comes in, climbs the mountain, and it kind of like dip, when it touches, when the force of it touches the country, it will, that's when it will crescent. Listen to me, listen to the prophecy. That is when it will literally crescent around that area of the country, but it's going to splash. Are you listening, church? Are you listening? This is why not everywhere in Jamaica is going to get the tsunami bad. Because when it, like I say, when you crescent the country, those areas, I haven't got my map with me. Yeah, that part, Montego Bay, that part go around Ochi and everybody like that. So when it crescents and it finally drop like a hammer. So when it hammers these areas, it's literally, imagine a breaking piece of hard dough bread. Jamaicans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hard dough bread, crystal bread, nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> imagine you break, you break in piece of hard dough bread or piece of bulla or piece of bun. That is how it is going to, it's literally going to break off this area and drag into the sea. So something is going to drag it, literally drag it and bring it out into the sea, right? So when it crescents the country and it first make impact with that heavy wave coming down, doosh, then the splash, the splash of water, that is what's going to go like into St. Catherine, um, you know, that bit, middle part, middle section, middle section of Jamaica. The splash is going to be bad. Don't get me wrong. So don't be thinking, oh, well, yeah, thank the Lord we say it. It's just a little baby splash. No, 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 no. Because these splash is going to go over houses. <laughs> Hallelujah. This, this is a serious warning, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you. People cannot take this, this um, vision. Just a minute. Sorry. Oh, God Almighty, we love you, Lord. Just getting warm. People mustn't take these visions lightly. That's why you got to share. Make sure blood is off your hand. You're okay on this channel. For those of you on this channel, you're absolutely fine. You're abs Sometimes when I'm speaking, the Holy Spirit, because I'm speaking truth, it's like, not really cold bump, but my body gets really warm, right, sometimes. Um, so the water is going to splash. So it's a splash. I haven't got my, my thing. I want to call some um, some of the parishes. So um, the splashing is very, very, very bad. So like I said, do it. Throw, well, you know, y'all know what it is, isn't it? Throw water. Even throw water right now on the ground, it splashes. But where the water make impact, it may, it's especially if you're outside in dirt, or if you're even making dough and you throw water in the dough, 
it makes a little hole so the impact so where the impact of the water touches so that is the crescent and then it splashes so the splashes is going to be huge yeah splash is going to be huge i mean yes a lot of jamaica a lot, a lot of parts of jamaica will have the splash don't get me wrong but the will have it won't be as impactful as that crescent a bit some people say all of Ochi is going to go. It could be very possible. I'm not going to deny that. But I just say majority. And Ochi is big. Major, imagine that. Imagine majority of Ochi. Majority of Negro. Trelawney. Port Antonio. All them bits and pieces. Somebody in the comment section say. Port Moore is going to go as well. But I have to see where Port Moore is. Because I believe Port Moore is in St. Catherine. Well. The splash, like I said, the splash is going to be very bad. Anyways, the splash is going to be very bad. But it's when the water, it's when the, the sea, when it comes in, and when it, where, wherever it ends. So for argument's sake, if it comes in, and it ends in, say, I don't know, say it ends in Linstead. I'm just using Linstead because it's in St. Catherine. So it ends in Linstead and the water is so high covering buildings or near to cover buildings because the splash. The splash is not going to be as devastated as the impact of the actual wave that make landfall. But the splashing is going to cover some buildings because it's going to travel. <laughs> that is to show you how powerful this tsunami is. It's going to travel. Um, so... What happened when I saw that, what I saw in the vision, when the sea came over, you, you got to listen to the vision. When the sea came over, and I'm, you know, this, as it was rising and coming over the mountain, I was like following and it made landfall. Huh. It's when it's going back out, brothers and sisters. That is the, when it's, you know, when it does what it's done in, doing and it's ready to leave land and go back out into the sea. That's that. That is the worst bit. Like, that is it. People have got to wake up. I encourage brothers and sisters, please share my Jamaican tsunami visions and dream or if you don't want to share mine, that's absolutely fine. It's no problem. If there are other people, brothers and sisters, who are talking about the same destruction that's going to hit Jamaica, then share it. Don't be afraid. Because blood is going to be off your hands. But Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. He, he is the spirit of truth. He really is the spirit of truth. And we have to wake up. We have to wake up and understand that we're in the last days. We've got to understand that whew, it's the wickedness that's what that's what we say it's the, it's, the, it's the lack of repentance it's the spoil some I'm not saying all the people since some of the people are refused to repent and if, when you re, when you refuse to repent you're spoiled that's what the Bible calls you you're spoiled like you know good. You're not fit for glory because you literally refuse to repent to the most high. You want to continue to do wickedness, even though you belong to him. So you might say, oh, well, if Jesus, you know, Messiah loves us, he wouldn't do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, you know, you cannot have tunnel vision. Because if you're saying that Ahaya loves me, Ahaya loves Jamaica, Ahaya will never, that's what they said in this comment section, Ahaya will never ever destroy Jamaica, you know, your wicked sister Karen, because you want Jamaica to be destroyed. What? You're mad. I've got my mommy out there. I've got siblings. I've got families. I've got friends. You know, when I have my little change and I can go back and visit my family, I love Jamaica. I mean, when I'm there, I have no problem. I'm airy. It's a beautiful island. But at the same time, you cannot be, you know, the, the, wickedness, the wickedness is just too much. That's what I'm saying. It's just a lack of repentance. They refuse to repent because they enjoy sin. And that is what people don't understand that some people enjoy living in sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Ahaya 
is eternal life through Yeshua the Christ. So if you're at that point where you refuse in your spirit, in your heart to repent, because they find Yeshua boring, they find Christians boring, and the devil is a lie, dirty, nasty Lucifer is a liar, there is absolutely no truth in Satan. So the whole purpose of these videos is to wake up the people. Because if they're walking, at least they can repent. And I may lessen the effect, I don't know. But this destruction is not far off within days or the coming days. Let me clarify that. Because some of you said, oh, Sister Karen, you said that within days, tsunami, earthquake coming to Jamaica. No. When I say within days or within the coming days, it's a spiritual language. That is what the Most High tell me that that's what it is and he said i can use it because in the not in in his eyes it is within days but in the natural in our eyes within days mean coming quick that's what it means it's gonna be quick we're not we're not far off from this destruction we're not far off people have to wake up it's the spiritual wickedness brothers and sisters that's in the island so like I say, don't be, you know, yes, we know Jamaica is beautiful. People are lovely, some of them, and all of that. But don't, don't let that fool you. But I've done videos and I've got another one to do as well. Um, where I say that Jamaica, after this event, the tsunami, the earthquake and tsunami, Jamaica is going to be, it's going to call, how you call it, New Jamaica. Out of it, Zion shall arise, and the people there are going to be one of the most powerful people on this planet. This is deep. This is serious. So yes, the earthquake would, you know, obviously we wish a higher can make Jamaica right now as I'm speaking one of the most powerful spiritual people on the planet. But we know that's not going to happen because they're just too deep in sin. They're just too far gone in terms of the tunnel vision and the things of this world. Bible says some people are saved through fear. So certain things have to happen to wake them up. So I wanted to come and just do this video, brother and sister, but that sister is telling truth. So three of us so far prophesy. And I did say that there's going to be a lot of people in Jamaica now that's going to go on social media and say, they're going to warn. Ahai is amazing. And I'm looking forward. I'm telling you, this is a prophecy. Since, my, since I've released the vision 2020, sorry, August the 2nd, 2024, watch out. And you're going to say, Sister Karen, watch out. There's going to be a lot of Jamaicans. Thank you, Lord, because you cannot lie. You never lie. You said, Lord, in the last days, you're going to pour your spirit upon all flesh. We shall prophesy and see visions and dream. And because this is a destruction in the nation, the more, and don't be surprised for young, little, not really little children, but young, young, young people. Children come in and saying, this is what the most I show me. And when you see children begin to get these type of visions, <laughs> believe me, yeah, it is close. It is near. But a lot of Jamaicans are going to get a lot of visions now. It's going to happen. They're going to get it. They're going to use the platform. They're going to come on social media and they're going to war because it is coming. It, it is coming. Can't, can't pray this one away. Be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All oh, praises, our oh, beautiful praises. To the most star, Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory in Messiah's holy name. Amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise, Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.